Another particular interest I have is, is the cultural side, because I, I happen to be with another hat on, the General Rapporteur for Cultural Heritage of the Council of Europe. And uh, the Cultural Heritage Subcommittee have taken a long interest in the problem of the cultural heritage in Cyprus. And my predecessor in the post was Takis Timitriou, who some of you may well know. And Takis uh, was appointed uh, in the negotiating process to be chairman of the technical committee with responsible for culture. And I had uh, contact um, with uh, Takis. I understand that there has been uh, an agreed protocol for mutual uh, reparations of uh, uh, heritage in the south and the north. The problem, of course, is in the north, where we've had violations, desecrations, blasphemies, and sheer thefts of valuable and revered uh, religious uh, objects of uh, various sorts. And under this protocol, I did understand that uh, there were to be some first steps, the restoration of some uh, Turkish uh, monuments in Limassol and Larnaca, and the restoration, I think it was, of the Church of St. George in Lefconico. But I understand even that has <coughs> fallen to the intransigence of the Turkish Cypriots, who cannot agree about proper technical and construction standards by the renovators. Uh, but uh, there's progress, and we hope to see further progress. Within that, there is a problem which is very close to my heart, uh, and that's Famagusta. You, many will know that uh, I have a particularly close affinity with Famagusta. Tom, welcome my dear old friend Tom Cox here. We're both uh, epitome amacostioni, and we both uh, love Famagusta, and there's an urgency in Famagusta, uh, not just for Russia. For Russia, obviously, the need needs radical root and branch uh, reconstruction. And there's an urgency about doing that because that is one of the strongest measures that could be taken to demonstrate the ability of Greek Cypriots and Turkish Cypriots to live together as Cypriots in, in the one uh, city. But old Famagusta, with its 365 churches, is falling apart, it's being neglected. Uh, some of you may have seen uh, the television programme, Stones of Famagusta. It wasn't a very good programme, but the story it told was stark, that this wonderful heritage, jewels of Mediterranean heritage, uh, through many civilizations in Cyprus, is falling apart and there's got to be through UNESCO, but it can only happen through cooperation with the authorities in the north uh, uh, of, of this uh, beautiful city. So that's uh, something else uh, which I take a particular interest in and have been pressing through uh, the uh, Council of Europe. We think we made a little bit of progress, but yet not enough. I know Alexis Galanos is working hard at, uh, at this uh, as well. Um, so those are some particular interests which I pursue, uh, not just in this parliament, but in the Council of Europe as well, uh, try to carry on inadequately the, the, the mantle of Tom. I'm not as good as Tom was when he was a member of the Council of Europe in constantly uh, harrying the Council of Europe over the human <coughs> rights uh, of, of Cypriots, but in my own inadequate way, I try to do my best, as Tom uh, did, and once again I, I pay tribute uh, to Tom. So, in conclusion, as Peter said, we want a strong Turkey, uh, a strategic partner, an important strategic partner uh, in, uh, I say our part of the world, a Peter Masama Christian, that's our part of the world, um, uh, but it's got to be on the right terms. And the solution has got to be, as Demetrius Christophias never fails to say whenever he opens his mouth, it's got to be based on a bicommunal, federal, uh, uh, bi, bi, bi federal 
Republic of Cyprus with one international identity and one citizenship and one unified island of Cyprus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eddie. I really appreciate those words and we appreciate your very long-standing commitment to Cyprus. Um, I'm really sorry you're not going to be with us on Sunday, but uh, I'm sure you will be there in spirit. I will be in spirit, yes. <laughs>